We've got incredible news about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 upgrades, and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So we've got plenty more leaks for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, including details of an incredible new camera which should set it far apart from the competition, we've got new design information, a huge amount of RAM as standard, and battery upgrades to keep users going throughout the day. But before we get into it, please like the video if you're looking forward to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and let me know in the comments if you prefer the Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Plus. So as most of you will already know, we won't be receiving a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra this year and there's going to be just two models instead. We get the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Plus and for those that, that like a hefty amount of RAM, it seems that both models of the Galaxy Note 20 are going to be coming with 16 gigs of RAM as standard. This is going to be the 16 gig DDR5 RAM that Samsung have already began mass producing but there's no information on if all models are going to be 16 gig or if we will see some higher variants. I would however expect that all models are just going to be 16 gigabytes as going any higher does just seem unnecessary. Next up, we've got details from Ice Universe, who states the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is going to be using the same 108 megapixel sensor that we saw in the Ultra, but it's going to add a new sensor to solve the focusing problems that many are experiencing. The new sensor is expected to be Samsung's newly announced GN1 50 megapixel sensor. The new GN1 was announced today, and it's their first camera sensor to come with both dual pixel and tetracell technology. It's a 1 over 1.31 sensor with 1.2 micrometer pixels and 100 million phase detect autofocus agents. Put in simple terms, this means it will get some high resolution images and video with some fast and accurate autofocus. The Tetracell technology allows for 4-in-1 pixel binning similar to the HM1 and we also have dual pixel technology enabling 100 megapixel resolution. The dual pixel technology places two photodiodes next to each other but within a single pixel and this allows it to receive light from different angles for phase detections. This allows the sensor to detect and focus a still or moving object from any corner almost instantaneously and works even in low light conditions. Next we've got a design leak from Ice Universe and Harmless Carl on Twitter. You'll see that the front is pretty much what we're expecting and the back is just a little bit different. The front is however just showing a rough idea and Ice Universe advises us to ignore the bezel as it is a rough preview. The Galaxy Note 20 bezel is expected to be slimmer than this image to provide a higher screen to body ratio than its predecessor and the back is sort of what we're expecting but just slightly different and it shows us three camera holes most likely a hole for the LED flash. Now this could well be for the Galaxy Note 20 and not the Note 20 Plus, but he hasn't actually specified. The rough design has also been recreated in a more professional approach and this was tweeted to Ice Universe who agreed its correctness. We can see the top sensor is the 108 megapixel HM1, the middle could well be the 50 megapixel GN1, and we don't know what the third sensor will be, but I have to say I like this design and it's probably easier on the eye than the Ultra's camera module. Finally, we have news that the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is going to be receiving a battery upgrade which is always welcomed by consumers. The information comes from Galaxy Club and claims that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is going to be equipped with a 4500 mAh battery. While many are complaining that it's not as much as the Ultra, we have to remember that the Note 20 Plus will be smaller than the Ultra and it may contain the new Exynos which has better battery optimization. We also have previous news of LTPO displays displays, which of course will greatly help the Galaxy Note 20 last the day, even under heavy use. On top of all this, we're going to see improved displays, battery, hardware and cameras and we haven't got much longer until it's all going to be unveiled. Now we're going to run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus, but for my regular viewers you would have already seen this, so I suggest you switch off now. If you're new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe and we're going to get right into it. 
Of course, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone and actually one of my favourite releases this year. We'll likely see improved design, display, cameras and more, but for anyone who's missed my previous videos, we're going to quickly run through what we can expect. For my regular viewers, you would have already seen this, so just switch off now, but for anyone new here, we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. While the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately, so it's going to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. Last year we had the Note in two sizes which were 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then had a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming, I'm going to estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Now of course smartphone sizes are generally getting larger so phablet sizes are going to rise too. Given the success of last year's notes, I'm also going to predict that we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 20 along with a Galaxy Note 20 Plus. We haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, but I'm going to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 and a 7 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We're no doubt going to see an in-display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. Now when it comes to the selfie camera, the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year. It's going to be interesting to see whether they stick with the punch hole camera top center or if the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious whether in-display cameras are going to be available for consumers and when Samsung have this technology ready. My guess it would be introducing it on the Note line, but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech and it's likely going to be something we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called, I've got no doubts that we're going to see a rectangular camera housing. Samsung have stuck with this across their mid-range and their flagships this year, so the Note 20 should be no different. Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with their cameras, so I'm going to predict that we'll get a 108 megapixel ISA cell sensor with pixel binning technology. We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities, we'll get an ultra wide angle for those wide shots, and we'll also get a 3D time of flight depth sensor. We'll also no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus compared to the standard Note 20. In the hardware department, we know the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Exynos 990 globally. We'll see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it will of course be expandable with a micro SD card. Given the larger size, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh, while the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20s are going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2 and it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3.5mm headphone jack and most importantly for Note fans, it will be coming with the much loved S Pen using Bluetooth 5. We haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt going to be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 and release towards the end of the month. When it comes to pricing, it will of course be an expensive device. Prices are expected to start at about $1100 to $1200 for the standard Note 20 and around $1400 to $1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be called. Given the success of this year's light models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line. It's a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company. We've got a huge selection in the A range, the Premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip phone. 
Now I have to say the Z Flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me, but that's just because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason. Of course, that's just my opinion though, and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the Fold. Of course, that's all the information and estimates we have today, but as soon as any solid information comes to light, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. But I just wanted to give you my estimations along with these stunning renders that concept artists have already brought together. As always though, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Are you waiting for the Note 20 or the Note 20 Plus? And what do you think of this new camera from Samsung? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.